All right, what is up you guys, welcome back to TGTV. So, to me, some of the best NBA 2K games have been the ones that set the stage for 2K's biggest advancements in the franchise. The way that NBA 2K13 introduced a very vanilla version of my team that's now expanded into the powerhouse game mode we have today is the perfect example. Or if you look at NBA 2K15, introducing the Jordan Rec Center that one year later would become Pro-Am and eventually manifest into the NBA 2K League. I see huge potential for that same shift in NBA 2K22. Coming off of a very disappointing year, 2K has now had almost a full year of next gen under their belt to start testing out some new concepts. I'm going to take this video to walk you guys through some of the things NBA 2K22 is introducing and where I think these features could lead us next. Before we get into that though, make sure to drop a like to help the YouTube algorithm and hit that subscribe and that bell notification button to get ready for my NBA, Pro-Am, and more all season long. Alright guys, let's go. The first piece of news I want to break down from this year is NBA 2K's version of a battle pass. I want to start off by saying that this is an absolutely incredible addition for the longevity of 2K22. Not only is this going to give players a reason to keep grinding and setting new goals all year long, but it also provides perfect opportunities every six weeks for players to jump in and not feel too behind if they haven't been keeping up. More exciting than what they're bringing this year though is the potential I see moving forward. We're already seeing 2K drop hints about being able to pursue outside of basketball interests like fashion or hip hop. And it leads me to believe that even if we don't see it fully fleshed out this season, we could be moving towards the GTA style ownership of items, clothing, properties, etc., that can give 2K players a whole new dimension to their virtual currency and how they spend it. This also leads me to a theory that I've been waiting to see a mainstream game start to implement and I believe that this could be potentially the beginning of a tie-in with NFTs. Love or hate 2K Sports, they are not stupid and they're always watching what the community is doing. And between Top Shot and the rise of NFTs like Board Ape Yacht Club and now even functional utility NFTs like RumbleCon 3v3, I am confident we see 2K step into the NFT space by 2022. For those of you who haven't heard of NFTs or may have heard of them and don't have a full grasp on what it is, NFTs have arisen during this revolution of cryptocurrency. The acronym stands for non-fungible tokens, and the easiest way to explain how they work and why they're so valuable is that each individual NFT is unique and its ownership is authenticated not only by 2K in this case, but it would also be authenticated on the blockchain. I'll be sure to link an article down below in the comments that can explain this way better than I ever could. But I'm sure the next question is, how would this improve 2K? Let's take a look at it through the lens of the season pass. We know that 2K has had its feet dipped in the space of mystery and pack openings through my team. So imagine a world where you reach say level 30 and you receive a mystery item. You open it, the item turns out to be a limited edition jersey that there are only 10 of. Because of how NFTs function, not only would it be confirmed that you are one of the only 10 people in the world to own this jersey, we could also see this develop into a marketplace between players of buying and selling in-game items. This is opening a whole new world for gaming. And although I think it could be a slow rollout integrating NFTs for 2K, remember how I brought up the idea of GTA style ownership of clothes, properties, and other items for your character? I see a path where 2K could expand into that world through NFTs and with the use of the blockchain. Giving players more free reign over their player's lifestyle is the first step towards building an ecosystem for NFTs. And this year may be the foundation we look back on for when video games take the next paradigm shift in the fall of 2022. As exciting as all of that is, that breakdown is focusing very much on next year's game and just the foundation being built now. I want to get into some stuff that's more grounded in this year's game and what we can enjoy in 2021. Personally, I hated the city in NBA 2K21. It felt to me like all of the things I disliked about the neighborhood, but on a grander, more time intensive scale. That being said, my expectation was exactly that going into 2K21 and I didn't exactly have high aspirations. My opinion this year has done a complete 180. My biggest criticism in years past about the neighborhood and the city is that they provide zero utility to the game. But confirmation from visual concepts that more focus is going to be placed on NPC interaction and quests at least gives me hope that we're finally going to see a step in the right direction towards creating value in roaming the streets of the city. And ideally, we see that value integrate seamlessly with the new My Career XP system for the seasons. The final thing I'm going to jump into briefly is the new badges. This is coming from a very, very specific pain point that I've had with the past few years of 2K. I'm going to take a quick deep dive into it. 
There is nothing I have been more critical of in 2K over the past few years than their inability to escape players simply finding a meta and sticking to it until a future patch wipes away the advantages for a specific build. For 2K to succeed in a world of RPG style gameplay, potentially NFTs, and the integration of more autonomy over player experience, the ability to create a competent build that plays true to your playstyle as an individual is so crucial. Although I was disappointed to see that this is not the year that we're getting an overhauled build system, a big influx of new badges is leaving the door open for a more massive change moving forward that hopefully will allow players to get more creative with their character on the court. So to wrap things up guys, if you're going to take anything away from this video, it's to not miss the forest for the trees. Are there gonna be bugs this year? Of course. Will there be stale times for content? Yes. But pay attention to what's going on here. I don't think it's a coincidence where 2K has focused their energy for this year's game, and I believe they've taken note of the way gaming is shifting, and they aren't willing to be left behind. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you think I'm crazy? And if there were NFTs integrated, how would you like to see them work? Whether or not I'm right, I think it's a foregone conclusion that NFTs are going to work their way into mainstream gaming sooner rather than later. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below and make sure to let me know what you guys want to see from me in NBA 2K22 starting on Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. I'm out.